everyone. This is Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. Happy New Year. Happy January. I'm going to get my comfortable here. <laughs> Today I wanted to talk about life after cancer. Now, as I've told, um, I've told you many times before in my other vlogs, I am a four-time cancer survivor. I've initially been diagnosed back in Jan, oh, excuse me, May 25th of 2007 with stage 3 ovarian cancer. Now I have a reoccurring cancer, and that's very important. So, because that means that it just keeps coming back. So, I have to write that. I have made a list so I don't forget what I was saying. So, uh, for me, living with cancer has kind of become a lifestyle, hence the name of my vlog, right? So, <laughs> back in 2007, when I was first diagnosed, I went through basically like four months of in and out of the hospital. I had a lot of complications. I had a lot of issues, and it was really a touch and go there for a long time. And uh, so when I went into remission, finally, finally, I was just so happy to be done with it. I, you know, like I think a lot of us when we have cancer and we go through it, we are just so happy to be over and done with. It's finished. And we just really want to sweep it away under the rug. We don't want to think about it. We don't want to be, uh, you know, thinking about reoccurrences. We don't want to, we don't even think that that's something that will happen. At least I didn't. I went for the next four and a half years uh, living a dreamland. That's what I was. I was basically living in a, in a, a bubble. I felt wonderful. I felt like life was new again. I felt that um, I was just so grateful and I just I just saw everything like a like a new baby that came comes into the world everything was fresh and beautiful and lovely so that's what I kind of wanted to talk about life after cancer now like I said I am a four-time cancer uh, so you know I, I see things differently now because I've been through it four times but that first time and I think a lot of people really only go through it once uh, you know uh, majority of, of people it's not that it comes back so my first thing I loved to live my life and when I afterwards I was just really happy I felt like everything was brand new in my life um, I wanted to try things I wanted to travel I wanted to like you know and I, and I remember even, um, I think it was that year, you know, my son was getting married and I think we had a lot of weddings in the family. I was going back and forth, traveling every weekend. I was going to Michigan. I was going to Indiana. I was going, you know, and I loved it. I had a thirst for life that I did not have before. Now, I think that's very common. I think that a lot of people, when they go through cancer, especially the first time, they once they're done and they're in remission, they have a thirst for life. And it's the same thing with friendships. Suddenly people that were, um, I found them irritating or I didn't want to be, you know, people I didn't like. I wanted to really work on my relationships. I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted to be different. I wanted to, uh, I wanted this experience that I went through to mean something. I didn't want it to be for nothing. And I felt like I was blessed with a new life uh, and that I didn't want it to be wasted, you know. And so it changed my whole perspective of, of uh, life after cancer. That was the first time. And uh, also I, I had a, a love for work. I was just very happy. I wanted to be at work. I, I, I just, like I said, it was like every day was a brand new day. And I, and I had that thirst. Now... Like I said, that was the first time, and I went through a very beautiful four and a half years of just a wonderful time. I lived my life. I, I felt renewed. I felt like my whole family loved me. I felt the love, and I wanted to renew, re, uh, you know, relationships. I just, I just did. So, but you know, life with cancer, uh, or life after the cancer treatments has changed as as I was getting a reoccurrence each time. So now here I am, 11 and a half years later, and uh, life with cancer means something different to me now than it did back in 2007. I still feel like I 
I have a new life in me. I can't even remember my life before cancer. I feel like cancer, is, as bad as it is, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Now, I know that that sounds crazy and a lot of people don't understand that. But when you're going through a traumatic experience in your life, you really rethink everything in your life. You become, you rethink your whole life. You think about your past. You think about how your attitude was. or uh, And you kind of start peeling away the, uh, the skin like an, uh, of an onion. You know, a layer at a time. And then you decide that, you know what, I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to be a good person. I want to change things in my life. So cancer has changed a lot of things in my life for the better. It has become, um, I have prioritized what is important to me. So that's what I mean that my life has changed for the best. And I, I can't even imagine, I can't even remember or imagine my life before cancer. Because I feel like it is just so much more fulfilling now. Uh, uh, relationships mean something to me every day. I think that's why I pack so many things in one day and, I'm, and I like the busyness of my life because I want to cram in as many things as possible because I want to live my life. I want to have a purpose. I want my life to have a meaning. And I want others to view me in a different way. So that's what's kind of changed now from the first time to where I'm at now. So I feel very lucky. I feel, and I don't even really feel lucky as much as I feel like um, my reasons for being here, and even it's been four times now, 11 and a half years, I feel like the reasons why I'm here uh, isn't so much that it's about me as much as what I can give to others. And that's what I kind of want to um, do. This is what everything, you know, this is what this channel is about. I want to give back. This is what my ministry, my crocheting ministry is. I want to give back. And the same thing with my chronic illness group. I want to be there uh, for other people who have illnesses, who have conditions, and they feel different or they don't have anywhere else to go. So I, I love what, everything I'm doing. I love my blog. I love writing about my experiences because I feel that everything I am doing now is in the hopes of maybe um, bring awareness, and not just awareness, but um, that you can live with this disease. You can live with this. And it doesn't even matter. I don't look at it in terms of that, well, maybe I only have a year left or I maybe hopefully I have 10 years left. I don't even look at that. I look at right now. And whatever time I have, I am going to live it. I am going to, you know, I'm already thinking of other things that I can do. I started this vlogging on YouTube. I'm thinking of other things that maybe I can do and believe me I and, and you know and I work full-time and there's times that I'm so backed up with things but I love it because I feel like my life has purpose now so look at here I'm just like carrying on so a lot of things have changed now in these 11 and a half years so life for me now is more uh, after treatment always involves you know like peeling away the skins of, of an onion in my life. I feel like I'm growing. Um, and I, you know, every time I go through treatment, I have to adjust my life because, you know, all that poisons that go inside me to kill the poison also hurt other things in your life, you know, in my body. So life with cancer right now has taken on a different meaning. I have different meaning, but it's just as fulfilling. Although I don't have this um, of 11 years ago, the first time where I was like a little kid in the candy store where, you know, oh, wow, life is great. Life is great, but it's a great in a different way. It's more calmer. It's more um, relaxed. It's not in this, you know, ah, I'm running around, you know, smelling, you know, roses and, <laughs> and um, you know, chasing butterflies you know like I did because I did I had a great time I did a lot of things that I wanted to I renewed a lot of friendships you know now it's just more about what I can do for others and I almost feel like the four and a half years that I, I love life and if you look at other um, people who've gone through cancer 
their remission afterwards, they're really, uh, they create a bucket list, uh, they start working on themselves, and, you know, they look at their behavior with others, and, you know, and that's kind of, that's normal. But as you're living longer, you, you know, you should be, um, you should be doing, I, I think we should be moving forward and, and you know, uh, bringing, not even awareness, because I believe that cancer, the people are very much aware of cancer. I don't think that that's, uh, you know, we spend a lot of money on um, bringing awareness, but I think people are aware. But I don't think that people know um, what to do when you have cancer. I think they don't know what to do, what to process, what to... So this is kind of like what I want to do. So this is where my life is now with cancer. It is just about I want to be there for others. I want to show other people that you can live your life and just as purposeful. It can be have just as meaning. It can be. It is still a renewal of joy, and every day matters, and it is what you make it. So there you go. So what does life after cancer mean to you? Hmm. I'd like sure like to know that from my other fellow cancer survivors. Uh, how has your life changed? since your diagnosis. I know mine is just so much more better, so better, so much better. Even though my health is maybe physically, I just, you know, I've uh, slowed down a lot. It has affected my mobility with my legs. I have uh, arthritis, I have charley horses, I have, you know, joints and, and um, uh, bone issues and all. But you know what, I'm still working. I'm still moving forward and my plate is very full and it's going to continue to be fuller, even fuller, because I have other plans. So I would really love to hear from others and how their life has changed after cancer. And thank you so much for listening. Hit the subscribe button. You know, you like the if you like it, hit the thumbs up, comment, share. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot. What is my second trivia bit about myself? Because it's my January month, right? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I'm already going crazy. So I was trying to think of what can I tell you that might be surprising. So I think I'm going to tell you that uh, a very few people know, or I shouldn't say no. When I tell them about it, they find it hard to believe. But I was actually not born in this country. I am Polish, and I was born in Poland. And I come to live here when I was seven years old. And a lot of people find that a little, um, they don't believe that. And I think because I don't really have an accent. But yes, I, am, I was born in Poland. I came here when I was seven years old. And I went to school here. And so that's my tidbit number two about me that you might not know. So thank you so much for watching again. Have a blessed day, everyone.